السلام عليكم يا شباب ويا بنات كيف حالكم ان شاء الله طيبين آه اليوم ان شاء الله راح اكمل لعبة سوي سايد اوف ريشل فوستر بسم الله نبدا اخر مرة اتوقع وصلنا اليوم الثامن والبطلة نيكول يعني شافت نفسها فجأة في كنيسة او في الكنيسة حق الموجودة في الفندق فهي يعني قالت يمكن تكون انها تمشي وهي نايمة يعني بدأت شوي الاحداث تصير اكثر اثارة خصوصا لما دخل عنصر الاشباح ويمكن ان يكون الفندق هانتد بالاشباح ايوه اليوم الثامن ما ادري هل بعيد واخر بارت اوكي بعيد لان انا الفيديو اللي راح يعني طلعت من هنا ورحت غرفتها واخذت الاغراض والمفروض اتوقع اني ارجع بعد يعني بعد المكالمة المفروض اني ارجع للكنيسة المفروض احفظ الطريقة خلنا احفظه طيب اتوقع هنا الريسبشن جنب اللاوندر يعني طيب في جزء هنا غريب شوي ايه هذا هذا المكان جيت انا بس ما فهمت وش هل هو ملحق هل يعني الشيء اللي يميزه ان الحمامات فخمة فيه كان حق ال في اي بي طبعا هي ما عندها اي شيء لان يعني لما تنام اكيد انت اغراضها تخليها على جنب فهي كانت نايمه صاحت شافت نفسها في الكنيسه طيب لحظه الدور الثالث هنا في الماستر روم احنا يجي هنا واخذ الاغراض الانفنتوري ايرفينج Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when uh, I lived here. Uh, one time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. 
That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. Okay, I will do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, uh, Irving? Yeah? I like Nikki. I like that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nikki. لأن هذه اللعبة أتوقع أن لها يعني نهايات مختلفة وأتوقع النهايات تعتمد على يعني يمكن معاملة كلا هذا إيرفن يعني تكون معاه جاف أو علاقة أفضل أنا كنت جاف في بعض الخيارات فقلنا خلنا نصير شوي يعني مع منفتحين شوي بس هالمرة يعني شو طيب نرجع الكنيسة أخذنا أكيد الأغراض هاي كلها الفلاش السكان السكان هذا طالع مكبر ما أدري طيب الحين خريطتنا أكيد هاي الغرفة فتحتها بس ما استكشفت. اه هاي. I was thinking there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. You don't think I'm crazy. Let's rule out divine calling them. Okay. So you're excluding the idea that I received our Lord's calling in the dream? I never thought about that. Sister Nicole doesn't sound bad at all, though. Fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Ashara, Dikshar, Nikki. When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets, but he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible! Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or it's your end, round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you, all that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks, 
But how can I remember it? How... It's... I... I... Wow. Total mystery. Wanna play? Uh, I... Yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. Okay. Let's start here. If I solve the riddle, I could finally... Uh, hint or find the old storage room. Dunno, I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. Too horror I've always loved Phantom. You think it's too horror? The church, the organ, the notes reverberating in the dark? It's been years since anyone played it. <sighs> My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. Uh, you should take it with you. To play it. In Portland. Uh, I never learned. I swear You're I'm better wrong. off listening to a cat in heat than my scales. Well, you can always pick it up again. Even if I don't think it's crucial. I mean, playing the organ. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by everything else, I'd say. Even show father. I wish I could look at the Sleeping Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for mountain wanderers. God damn sons of. Oh. I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Ugh, okay, okay.
Seven bug. أتوقع كل شي سوينا أتوقع أطلع أشوف هل طيب بس كيف خلنا نشوف الكنترول لحظة دايناما تراكشن وبن ماب نكسة فلور أنا أبغى النوت ريج كريست روم نبحث عن شيء الاولد ستوريج فاين فاين ذا اولد ستوريج مشكلة ما يعيد الكلام يعني انا ما حفظته صراحة تير رايت اتوقع لازم اطلع Down the stairs, which your steps don't fall apart, or it's your end. Round the corner, how do you start? Turn around. There is your way in front of you. All that is closed can be opened too. You see beyond its box. Down the stairs, watch your step don't fall up apart, or it's your end. Shark and around the corner, turn around. There is your way in front of you. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit.
constantly. Well, I خوف هذا. Oh, retard. Mystery decorations? No, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I. It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. I. Uh, there's some windows drawn on the walls. Books, sheet music, a pink bed. It's like a kid's room. No way. No one would live down here. Maybe I am dreaming. Maybe I am dreaming. I'm not entirely sure. I'm actually awake. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. Wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to- Jesus Christ, Irving! What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room. A, a, a replica. Oh, uh, what fact, you, don't uh, know that. you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. Okay. Did you get out of there? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe? Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't. Let me go on. Okay. Okay. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think? Someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. Can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. لقيت مفتاح حق صندوق الموسيقى اللي في غرفة لينارد. اللي قريب يعني من مكان في الماستر سويت نفسه. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Uh, no. No way. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a. a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this? We'll figure it out. The sheriff will tear out of there into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? 
What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there. Total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience. He, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. Not joking. Oops. You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you? My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but... Fucking hell, don't you dare even think that! I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person! Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and... I'm telling you... No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say! I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me! اوه يعني الكلام اللي قاله خطير صراحة قال ان ابوها ممكن يكون على علاقة مع دي البنت الميتة او المفقودة مصيبة طبعا هي ما تقبلت هذا الشيء بس شكله مختلفة يعني ما راح الظاهر تسوي له اي ريبورت اذا شافت شيء غريب Teach me to talk. Teach me. فيقول عن احتمال أبوه هل مسوي هذا الغرفة. قصة القبعة الحمراء أو ليلة والديب. توي. Option so I'd hand to this. The key I found with the Oaks to the music box in Leonard room. I am going to open it, to open it, to open it. Okay. Not a giant. Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Oh, finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then, the lipstick from ten years ago turns up, still good. And then, my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, no, no. No, I'm just being paranoid. And then, there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? 
Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Okay, خلنا نشوف صندوق الموسيقى هذا. أتوقع هو ولا... اللي راح يعني هذا هو ميوزك بوكس The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here, and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Okay. خلصنا اليوم الثامن. داخلين على التاسع. Irving, finally. You are only one I got. I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. Uh, I am this girl, okay. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel. And if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? I'm doing it all on my own. Maybe me. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It, it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game, but what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. What can I do? Storeroom. I'd better take a look in the mezi mezzanine in the middle of the better thing find their proper position. راح 
Ага. Second floor. I'll be to take a look. لحظة في طريق ايه هذا اللي انا ادوره وكان وهي يعني تتكلم وياه قالت ابغى اروح الى دستور روم بس في التدو لست كاتبه ما ادري اذا هي نفسها هذه ميزة ناين Kitchen. طيب هذه الفريج هذه
Olha, Arum. Eu me lhe afan não sei o que هذا المنطقة كان هذا المنطقة اوه هذه هي تلعب اوكي ارفينغ هلو كان يو هير مي I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? Why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? Oh god, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. Well, I wish I could have told him that first thought. Hello. طيب نسوي Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? Uh, what door? I don't understand. What? Are you... are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving? What are you doing? What... What's hiding behind second floors? Seat at the door. Evidence. Can I come here? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time.
imagine you found my room. What? What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins. You, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. What are you? Where are you? What do you want to do? Who are you? Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that, free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia, or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her, but I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was your sister. Oh, Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't, uh, yes, I had to. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. What do you want? Where are you? What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love. 
We all died. Oh, and by the We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you. We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. Tell me what you want from me, you are the stranger. Said I should keep away. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Can I fish it? Can I walk? A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious. Irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels. Those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on. In the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the about? air we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it. Those who cast it aside with indifference. And those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light in death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. figure out what Rachel is saying, Nikki. She's here. Murder. Okay. 
Okay. يا لاك خطير ما ادري ايش فيه هالك الكارت من يوم سويت له ابديت يا ريتني ما سويت له ابديت كلير سايد كلير كار اروح السياره على الجراج ما ادري ايش فيها اللعبه فجاه صارت هالشيء Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't. I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth, a truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain, maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us, and you abandoned these people here in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. My car. Check it out here. What's the in the blanket? Wash it, wash it, wash it. Type in laundry. صراحة لاق خطير ما ادري فيها فجأة صارت هالشكل ما ادري
طيب المفروض لا ندري جانبها I, I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family, you and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face, her look. Oh, لكن أمها اللي قتلت راشل. It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it. Understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature, a, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. Oh, شكلها أمها. Then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled, and there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She cleaned it. Go on. No, I, I don't. Go on. We, we got there on time, and I played best game of my life, and the last. Claire was on the bleachers, encouraging me and cheering, and then I lost sight of her for two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... Oh, she could have said that. I traveled all the way. With Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her, in the trunk, rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God! She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire? I was only a kid. Plus, she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is is here. You know, I I think she's still protecting me. 
but I'm grown up now. Now, we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. Uh, you can't leave. Where are you? What? Irving, where are you? It's white as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... And go back. Oh, don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again in another time beyond this horizon of events. Everything is... Irving? I don't want to stay alone here. I, I, everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. Ah, who's there? Rachel? Is that you? So, I don't. Yes, Nicole, it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you, the connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great, I'm glad. You're sure you get listen. I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well. I see. Well, you're the owner. And you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Okay. Oh, there's also my theme. She decided not to be the... The Fendic. It was because of You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day, but they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad. It would be so nice.
Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me. Stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. I'm scared. Playb? I... I don't want to die. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. Oh, <coughs> 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 Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes. <clears throat> like a whole family. <gasps> no more anger. Just love. شكلها النهاية. ما أدري هل قررت أنها تنتحر أو قررت أنها تبقى في هالفندق للأبد. بس يعني الزبدة أن أمها اللي اسمها كلير هي شكلها اللي قتلت ريشل بسبب أن الظاهر أبوها أو اللي هو يعني أبو نيكول وزوج كلير حب هذه البنت ريشل ما أدري يعني تزوجها أو, أو كان مع معاها يعني يقيم معاها علاقة وهذا يعني اللي, اللي اسمه إيرفن اللي يكلمها اللي هو أخو ريشل حاول يدفع البطل هذه نيكول اللي تكتب هذا يعني اللي فهمته الزبدة عم نعرف ان ما ادري شو ممكن قرر ينتحر وخلاص بس يبدو ان كلير يعني ان نيكول يعني ابوها وامها اللي هو امها كلير وابوها نسيت ايش اسمه الكلمات فقالت لايرفن ان الكلمات يعني ما في ذا على اوكي يا شباب هذه كانت لعبة The Suicide of Rachel Foster لعبة جيدة لا بأس بها فيها إثارة أتمنى أن اللعبة عجبتكم أشوفكم إن شاء الله على خير وفي أمان الله